Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Montoya and I'm an assistant professor of quantitative psychology at UCLA. And hopefully you are watching this video because you are a beta tester for memory version three. And uh, I decided to make a series of videos that go along with this beta release, um, mostly because I learned people don't read documentation, right? So um, I thought maybe a um, video version of some of the kind of key points in the documentation might be a little bit more fun and interesting way to um, learn about memory. So um, in this series of videos, there are um, a variety of videos. This is the first one with a general introduction to memory and some changes to version three. There are then a few different videos on how to install memory, depending on which way you are using it in SPSS, SAS, or the dialog box. Um, I'll walk through the model templates and how those work. Um, the model templates have been around since version two, uh, but they are wildly expanded for this version. Um, I'm then gonna talk specifically about moderated mediation models, which is the big uh, change with this new version of memory, where you can now estimate moderated mediation models. And then um, the second to last video, I uh, walk through some of the nitty gritty of how the uh, plots of conditional effects work, just because the details of that are not um, documented anywhere. And so, I mean, they're in the documentation, but um, there's no papers that really talk about how to do this or why we do it the way that we do. Um, so I wanted that to be out there. And then uh, we'll wrap up with a video with just a couple um, details. If some of these things are completely not of interest to you, you can skip the videos. Um, that's why I've made them kind of separate videos. Um, but the idea is that this is kind of a whole playlist since apparently everybody's a YouTuber now. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so what is memory? Memory is a macro for SPSS and SAS. Um, the name comes from mediation and moderation for repeated measures designs, um, hence the name memory. I'm sure many of you out there are having a, um, a moment where you're like, oh my gosh, I've been saying this wrong for so long. I don't care how people say it as long as they use it. So, um, but the way that I say it is memory. And, um, it's a macro for SPSS and SAS that then allows people to do uh, mediation moderation analyses and repeated measures designs that aren't necessarily possible with the built-in functions um, in SPSS or SAS, or at least aren't very easy with those built-in functions. So uh, these can be used for models with continuous mediators and continuous outcome variables. At this point, um, I'm not doing anything with dichotomous outcomes, though I do have a student who is working on this. Um, and if you're interested, you're always welcome to reach out to me. We would love some practice data. Um, and what this model does is it uses different scores to um, model the impact of a repeated measures factor on an outcome. So in memory, the um, kind of causal variable of interest is always the repeated measures factor that differentiates the repeated measurements. So um, if you are in a case where you're actually measuring your uh, X variable, uh, then memory is not going to be appropriate. And um, you can skip all the way to the wrap up video where I will point you to some other resources that are helpful if you have um, a different kind of X variable. So um, what's new in this new version of memory? Well, so this is version three. Version one included just mediation. Version, version two added moderation. So uh, surprise, surprise, version three includes moderated mediation. And I'm really excited about this. This has been a culmination of a lot of work. Um, so there are now models four through 18 in memory. And um, the model numbering system is, is kind of modeled after um, process, which is a tool that lots of folks are familiar with um, for, for doing mediation moderation analysis in between subjects designs. But basically what we've done is we've added a number of models that can incorporate um, one moderator into a simple or parallel mediation model. An that's the big new thing. Um, and then an additional thing that I added this time is a little bit smarter mean centering. So now with the center option, um, the default is zero, which means that none of the moderators are centered. 
Um, center equals one will center all of the moderators, including dichotomous moderators, which I think is kind of a funky thing to do. Um, so I added a new option, which is center equals two, uh, which would center non-dichotomous moderators. So if you have some moderators that are continuous and some that are uh, dichotomous, um, cent the center equal two option will uh, center just the non-dichotomous moderators. All right, and um, a couple things have changed in this new version. So I have actually removed the bias corrected bootstrap confidence interval. Um, research overwhelmingly shows that this method has inflated type one error rates, meaning that it's giving false positives. And given the kind of state of the world in psychology and behavioral science research, it just didn't seem right to me to include an option that we know um, performs poorly in this manner. So the bias corrected bootstrap confidence interval is gone. Um, but the percentile bootstrap confidence interval and the Monte Carlo confidence interval are still available. Um, the percentile bootstrap confidence interval is the default. And um, both of those methods have been shown to have much better and more accurate type one error rates. So, um, so if you're used to using the bias corrected, you can just switch to the default. The other thing is that in uh, doing these um, changes, we discovered an error. Um, it's kind of amazing to me that we only found one, but that I guess speaks to the testing process. Um, if you uh, used normal standard error estimates, so if you use the normal equals one option with a serial mediation model, um, the standard error calculation may have been incorrect. Um, I've only found one person for whom this affected, uh, but if you have any questions about this, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. Um, we've double checked everything now and all of these standard er error calculations are correct for the serial mediation models. This did not affect any of the parallel mediation models um, and it only affected folks who were using the normal option, um, which is also not really recommended. So, um, so yeah, so those are two changes. And that's it for this intro video. So